So many people are worried about estrogen dominance, but in fact, you know, estrogen is an important part of your testosterone. Testosterone is three hormones in one, testosterone, estradiol, or estrogen, and dihydrotestosterone. But usually many of the symptoms and side effects that people will link with estradiol or, or estrogen or excess levels of those uh, might actually have to do with how good your insulin uh, sensitivity is. And if that's off, uh, then you may suffer some negative effects. But in reality, there are some foods that you might want to avoid that are known as phytoestrogens. I know women who have uh, breast cancer are asked to avoid uh, some of these. And one of them that I learned the hard way was actually flaxseed. Flaxseed is considered some health food uh, similar to soy, but it actually has a very high phytoestrogen content. So whilst you're trying to avoid any sort of xenoestrogens or environmental type of estrogens or artificial BPA types of you know, chemicals that mimic the estrogen, probably you might, might want to avoid them in some food products that contain a, a high amount of flax. So that would be one way uh, as well as improving your insulin sensitivity to avoid some of the symptoms that, that might be labeled estrogen dominance, but in reality, it's most likely something else. But there is some evidence for reducing some of those plant sterols in in foods like that. So I, I don't I don't touch flax and I, I, I avoid soy. But if you like certain beans, there are beans that work really well, such as so one type of bean is lupini beans, which don't have a high amount of of those phytoestrogens.